Our second guest of the day joining us via the Deseret First Credit Union hotline is Brian Keel, another guy that played in that epic 2006 win at Rice Eccles Stadium on the Beck to Harleen throwback. Brian, it's nice to have you back on the show, man. Hey, it's always a pleasure, fellas. What do you expect the feeling to be like at Rice Eccles tomorrow when you run out as one of the alumni flag bearers? <laughs> For me, honestly, it, I, oh, I'm excited. I'm honored. But the biggest emotion that I'm going to have is jealousy of everybody that's wearing a helmet. Um, yeah, I, I would give, uh, I don't know, I'd probably give my house away and live in a van down by the river if I could play in that game tomorrow night. Matt Foley, motivational speaker, is BYU's long snapper as well, by the way. Um, tell us what it's like emotionally to play in that game. You played in a bunch. It's, it's a different game. especially For me, growing up in, in Salt Lake and going to every rivalry game at Rice Eccles at Lavelle Edwards every year, having a lot of family that are Utah fans, tons of friends of Utah fans. I love it, man. It's just, it's just, it's exciting. It's rivalry week. There's trash talk around the water coolers at work, and you know, bragging rights at church on Sunday, and it's just big. And then so to play in the game, it's, I mean, it, it's, it's different. It's your rival. Everything's on the line. It's hard to put into words, really. What is the atmosphere like as a player when you take the field and are in the midst of an intense game against the University of Utah in front of their home crowd? That's, honestly, I love playing at Rice Cycle Stadium because it's a hostile environment. I love going into the Lions then, um, just talking trash to the fans. The moment you get off the bus, the fans are there giving you grief, give it right back. It's, uh, it's fun, man. I, I, I miss it. I look forward to it tomorrow. When you look at uh, what's going into this game, new coaching staff for BYU, Kalani Satake's return to Utah, where he was there for 10 years, uh, senior quarterback and running back for BYU. How do you see this thing playing out tomorrow night? Yeah, I think, honestly, I, I, I said this in the, after we won the Vegas, or lost the Vegas Bowl, excuse me. After that game, I said, we're going to beat them in September. Um, I, and I, I, still, I, still, I still feel very confident that we're going to beat them. I think we have a better team overall team and um and with a senior quarterback a senior stud running back i think it's going to make the difference i think we're going to get the w get the monkey off our backs and just move forward is there more pressure on utah or byu to win this game uh i would say the pressure is on utah they're in the pac-12 they're quote unquote the big boys you know i, I think i think the pressure is on them and and for us i i, I don't think it's, it's as big of a deal we got a new coach new system um, in my opinion, the pressure is all on them. Let's talk about turnovers because it's been unbelievable how the turnover margin has indicated who has won this game. In fact, the last 10 games, if BYU has been even or positive, they've won, and that's been three of the last 10. Uh, of course, five uh, turnovers in the first quarter doesn't help, but how do, you, how do you see BYU trying to limit turnovers and then get some takeaways in this game? It's, it all comes down to turnovers. It's, it's this game or any game, the turnover margin, or whoever wins the turnover battle, it's like 80% win or something, 80, 80, 85. It's crazy. So go back to the Vegas Bowl, last time these two teams played, that was the difference. I mean, Utah had an avalanche of turnover, won them the games by the hair of their titty chin chin. So if we can take control of the ball on offense and go after the ball on defense, we're going to come away with the W tomorrow. Jake Aldroyd just went by us in a car. The, that, Jake Oldroyd just went by in the car. That was Jake Oldroyd. That was the winning that's, kicker. That's hilarious. That's karma, Brian Keel. Does that's, he does he not have class? What is he doing? <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's All right, dialed in for tomorrow. Absolutely. <laughs> let's let's talk about uh, Jake Oldroyd and what you saw from BYU against Arizona that either adds to your confidence going into Utah tomorrow or maybe takes away. What what did you see that you're like, yeah, okay, uh, BYU, I feel more confident or less confident that they're going to beat Utah? You know, everybody's been so excited about that win. And I'm – so me, I mean, obviously I'll take the win. I love it. But I'm disappointed because we almost blew it. We are, Honestly, we should have beat them about 30 to 10. And uh, those two late touchdowns that they scored, they're just disappointing for me. And uh, I had a coach he, he, at Washington. He said something I really like. I've said it before, but he said, never accept in victory what you wouldn't accept in defeat. And, and I think that's important. So, mm. so you, you, you take the win. You're glad to have the win, but you don't. 
you can't hang your hat because because we're you know we're a field goal away from losing that game, and and it's because you know as a defensive player it's because we we let down you know you got to be at your best when your best is needed, and when our best was needed at the end of that game our defense didn't show up and so so yeah there were some great things I saw Jamal Jamal Williams was just the best thing the best part of that whole game he was running like an absolute beast and um, if we can get some more of that tomorrow then we're going to be victorious. Brian, tomorrow you'll run out the alumni flag, one of them. Uh, if you have the chance to address the team and Kalani gives you like 30 seconds, what would you tell those guys right before the game? Oh, man, I don't even know. I, I would, well, first of all, I'd try not to start crying because <laughs> I, I know I would get emotional. But I think the biggest thing that I would talk about is, is destiny. And, um, you know, just this is your chance to, to, to make your mark. And there's – amazing games that have gone before you and, and this is your chance to put your name in, in the history book to write a sentence to have a paragraph and and then it, it, it it's fleeting football is a game it's, it's a kid's game and some of us are fortunate to play it longer than others and then eventually we all move on and we miss it every day for the rest of our lives and this is their chance to leave their legacy Brian, what on the field matchup? Let's go matchup. on the field. Let's yes. go. Let's, Let's just go. right now. Let's play. What on the field matchup intrigues you the most in tomorrow's game? Um, that's, I, I think really it's going to come down to how our offensive line can handle their very, 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 very good defensive line. And that's in getting Jamal room to run and in keeping pace them upright. And that, that will be a huge key to the game and a huge key to victory. Awesome stuff, Brian. It's always good to talk to you. It's been too long. We're, I'm sorry that we waited so long to do this again. We've missed yeah. you, Brian. Come on, guys. <laughs> we'll pick up our game. Enjoy the game tomorrow, man.